OCDA is an acronym for Occupational Cares Diversity Affairs. Uh, and what we do is people go to my website, they file a complaint about their boss or their supervisor, anything like that. We show it to the job and we cuss their ass out. Y'all gonna love this because I'm sure everybody has a complaint about their goddamn employer. T, you know what OCDA is, T? I don't know, I'm asking you. Do you know what OCDA is? <laughs> I'm asking you, what is OCDA? Well, OCDA is a real company that will handle your real complaints. Would you like to know? Sure. Let's find out. Okay. Yeah, it's this Trump podcast. Aww. Let's go. What is that? What does your company do and how was it formed? OCDA is an acronym for Occupational Cares Diversity Affairs. Uh, and what we do is people go to my website, they file a complaint about their boss or their supervisor, anything like that. We show it to the job and we cuss their ass out. Yeah, all, all, everything you want to say to your boss, everything you want to say to your boss that you can't say, y'all contact us, go to our website, ocdaofficial.com, and we'll show up and say all the things you want us to say verbatim. Is it anonymous? Like, do they know who's... Oh, yeah, the complaints are totally anonymous, but I say everything verbatim, so you can curse on your complaints. I'm going to curse anyway. <laughs> Look, and I was just about to say, like, man, they about to get these people fired, but he just said it's anonymous. Okay, Listen. so therefore... No, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> He just said it. He said it's anonymous. Listen, well, it's anonymous. Like he'll he'll read your complaint verbatim, but he won't tell your boss. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Because my, the first thing I'm thinking is is when he's reading this to the boss, is the boss going to know who was coming from? No, I seen him. I seen, I seen one of the videos, and he's talking to the guy in the uh, like in the lobby of the job, and the guy don't know who he is. He's just telling them the complaints, though. But I mean. Uh, <sighs> If your boss know your dialect, say, your right. boss, if your boss know your dialect, they gonna know I'm where sure, it's coming from. I'm sure if a mother come to my boss, they're like, "Yeah, you bitch ass nigga." <laughs> oh, that's loose. <laughs> <laughs> hold, hold on, oh, that's loose right there. Listen, this, yes, they this, are. <laughs> listen, this is some of the employee requirements. You have to have a master's in verbal artistry. What? what? Knowing how to cuss isn't just allowed; it's encouraged. What? Express yourself. Back talk black belt. Oh, wow. <laughs> Can't mind talking back? Perfect. We value strong opinions and even stronger voices. Interruption imperative. Master the art of cutting someone off mid sentence. It's about <laughs> asserting yourself. Goodness Parental gracious. profanity prowess. If you, cut, if you cuss at your kids often, you'll fit right in. Oh, shit. Hygiene hero. Great hygiene is non-negotiable. <laughs> Smell good, feel good, work great. Oh, my God. <laughs> iPhoniac. An iPhone isn't just a device. It's a way of life. Make sure you're part of the club. <laughs> Ugliness unacceptable. <laughs> Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But let's just say we trust our eyes a lot. <laughs> this dude Look, is a hold mess. Up. This is the last one. Educational. Uh, High school diploma or GED kind of required, but we're more inter we're more interested in street smarts. <laughs> this is a I real like company. I like this dude. Yo, Yo look. Oh wait, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Miss Minnie, Miss Minnie says, "Is there a monthly subscription?" <laughs> I'm telling you, you go on a, like the first thing you see is submit a complaint. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This boy's not playing. That is ingenious. Ingenious. Listen, let me tell you something. That boy, he fucking struck a gold mine. <laughs> he struck a gold mine, boy. Oh, my gosh. Imagine the stuff like, uh, but you know what? All my employees like me, so I know I ain't going to get into them phone calls. Well, can you okay. imagine get one of them? Yeah, though? okay. You think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine get one, though? T, would, would you be upset if he got one? I know I wouldn't. Yeah, they were like, yeah, you black bitch. I ain't that like you anyway. <laughs> always, always coming off like you happy and you like everybody here. Knowing damn well you go in that office talking shit. Yeah. We know. We be seeing you. 
And you always on your damn phone talking about all this other, oh, I love my employees, bullshit. <laughs> talking about you want a goddamn report at 513. You know the goddamn Parkside got them happy wings <laughs> in the happy hour in that 513. Especially all, when I, I see you leaving I at 3 o'clock every day. <laughs> what the hell you think I, this is? You want to report at 945. Did you said you've been here since 6 o'clock. I ain't seen you. Ain't not a damn soul so born. <laughs> yep. Oh, boy, can Hold you up. imagine? Hold up. He got the... Yeah. Exactly. You, you got to go in there and do it like... <laughs> He said it's anonymous. Oh God! But he will read it verbatim. Yo, listen. Oh my God! Well, you that gotta is love hilarious. it. Let me tell you something. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. So okay. look, we gonna OCDA. We, we, uh, we gotta, gonna go to the. I gotta, gotta look them up. <laughs> Yo, this, real, listen. Okay. I looked it. I said, "Oh shit, it's real." Thanks. <laughs> this shit is real. All right, look. So the first comment, <laughs> first comment is from Shorty Low. Shorty Low says. <laughs> Hiring a company to crash out on your behalf is straight villainous activity. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> if my job did me dirty, man, I would pay him handsomely. What? I would give him the picture of all the people that I need him to curse out, and I'd be like, "Bro, I need you to, I need you to go Eddie Murphy wrong." <laughs> I don't even get need you to get no script. Think about, think it's, it's, it's that that your baby mama that you hate or. Uh, think about Go it. Ham. I don't hate anyone. Go ham. I yep. am all full of love. <sighs> so you were saying, bro? <laughs> Comment number two. <laughs> yeah, I mean, T. The whole thing. See, T. You wouldn't send it unless you know. I mean, you send it because I'm just, I'm just joking. Yeah. No, no, I'm saying because you know you're in upper management, so you would be the receiver. I know that, but I mean, who's this? I can send it to anybody. Right. Who are you going to send to the president? Hey, you never know. Ain't that, you know what? That's a that's a good idea. Listen, hey. y'all ever seen Tia Kemp on that podcast with uh with um uh Black China Mom? Uh oh yeah. It's oh, like, they they be going at. Oh my god, they she, both crashed. Yeah, out. she could. They could definitely be on his team too. Yeah, right. Like, they be they be drawn. Yeah. Oh, wait. Ms. Minnie talking about I would be hired as a VP immediately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? What you need to tell her? <laughs> Minnie, what you need to tell her? <clears throat> I'm re- I'm rehire him and send a message to T over there. Message to who? For me? For yeah, what? To you. To you. Hey. I don't like I don't like the way you be treating me and CJ. I don't even be doing that. First of all, I don't like the way that you and CJ treat me. Oh, whoa, whoa, what did I do? First of Y'all all. Y'all be treating me like a stepchild. Ooh, I'm trying to make sure we stay within the guidelines. <laughs> 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 yes. And, First of um, all, y'all don't see how they treat me off air. <sighs> off air? See, that's the bullshit right there. <laughs> it ain't. It ain't. So, um, yeah. Um, see? You don't yeah, know London Madison says... <laughs> Sir, stop limiting yourself. Weddings, anniversary, any family reunion, <laughs> funerals. Sometimes people, I know that people right. want to say things at See? funerals and scared <laughs> you will be a billionaire. See? Like I just said, now, I can send it to anybody. Anybody now, anybody. London, London is on to something. Yeah, I, it's some people in my family. I hope was, your family not watching. If it wasn't for my mama, man, oh man. Ma- matter of fact. My sister is in in the chat, so trust me, she can she can she can vouch for. Her. There's some people in our family that if it wasn't for our mother, they would have been got st- they probably got what? punched. Go with God, CJ. Listen, I am with God. Let me tell you something. I I I sent him to my mom. Then God didn't God send the flood down? He got tired mm-hmm. too. He flooded the earth. Yeah, you know? I, I I be like I be like. Just because you brought me in this world, don't think you own me, God damn it. That's you, what you, you think she know who this is? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you sure you want to send that one? I don't know if you want to push uh, submit on that one. <laughs> All right, look, let's go to the third comment. So third comment from Tatted Truth. Mr. Truth says, these, these complaints are anonymous, but... I will read them verbatim. It's going to get a couple people in hey, trouble. Is that? It's going to get a couple people in trouble. Hey. Yeah. You got to be a little crafty with some of that hey, stuff. Man, uh, if your boss know your dialect, mm-hmm. they're going to pick it up. Yep. 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 They're going to pick it up. 
But then again, if they only know you on a professional setting, then maybe they really don't. Yeah, because if you hit them with Because there's a difference between me outside of work and me at work. So, hey, you want to get the the polite... Yes, yes, absolutely. How can I help you today? So, you're saying you're a freak at work, (laughs) but you're a super freak outside of work. First of all... Community, community, <laughs> the community. Freak, the freak does not community. touch work. <laughs> community. But then again, it has some God lives. <laughs> In the bathroom. OSHA. Oh, that is. Okay, HIPAA. <laughs> One of the guidelines, can we just follow one of them? OSHA, HIPAA, I don't care what the guidelines are. Hippocratic oath, can we just follow some kind of guidelines here? God damn. Jesus, we're trying to get this platform off the ground. We you know, never going to make it. Y'all not following the Look, you knocking the damn lights down. Damn, Jesus Christ.